Today we will be using Matdex GUI Designer. To change the theme or layout of your document, head to the layout ribbon. Click the paint palette and choose between either the light theme or the dark theme. Once you have chosen your theme, you will have to restart your document for it to be applied. The same goes with the style of the document. However, the layout will instantly be changed once you select it between layout 1 and layout 2. Once you restart the document, the theme and layout of the document will be changed to what you set it to. Now we can use Matdex Screw Designer. To do that, we'll need to either open a new document or a new Matdex script. A new Python script will open the Python GUI Designer. The difference between the Python GUI Designer and the Matdex GUI Designer is that the Matdex GUI Designer can reduce the amount of lines of code needed by up to four times. I'm going to open a new Matdex script. Matdex GUI Designer is found in the Programming ribbon next to the Plugin Manager. Click its icon and a new window will appear. From here you can organize, manage, edit and create GUI applications. Click new to open the GUI designer. You can expand the GUI designer as well as the work area. To add a widget such as a button, you'll need to click on its icon and then where on the workspace you'll like to add it. Matdex GUI designer has additional widgets such as the instrument widget and the 2D and 3D graphs that are not available with its Python GUI designer. You can move as well as resize any widgets. Now I'm going to move and resize the widgets to create an app that I think looks best. You can change the text on widgets such as the button and the list box by double clicking on the widget and then typing in the text you want. When you finish the aesthetics of your GUI, you'll need to add event functions to each button that you'll be using. To add event functions, you'll need to type in the name of your event function here, such as on1 and click add new. Then you'll need to link it to the button, such as increase. I click on the button I need to link it to, and then I click on event function and on1 will be there. You'll need to do that for all buttons. When you have created all the event functions you need and link them to the corresponding buttons, you need to click done. The code for all the GUIs will automatically be generated and the event functions as you can see are here. On1, On2 and Slide1. The On1 event function is linked to the increase button, which when clicked will increase the value of the instrument widget. To do that, I'm first going to need to get the value of the instrument widget. I'm going to create a variable called a and use the function widget value to get that value. I'm going to need to type in the name of the widget and the widget name is as you can see from up top, instrument free. Now I need to increase the value of the instrument widget. To do that, I'm going to make another variable called instrument value and I'm going to make it equal to a plus 10. And now I'm going to need to display that value. To do that, I'm going to be using the set widget value function. Here, I need to type in the name of the widget, which is instrument free. And then I'm going to need to type in what value I will be displaying, which is instrument value. Now, as you can see, when I evaluate the code and click increase, it goes up by 10. Now that we've finished the event function on one, we can start working on the event function on two which is linked to the reset button. When clicked, it will reset the instrument widget to zero. To do that, I'm going to use the set widget value function again, but instead of setting the value to a variable, I'm going to set it to zero. And the instrument I'm going to be setting is instrument free. As you can see, when I evaluate the program, clicking the increase button increases it by 10, clicking the reset button sets it to zero. Now I'm going to code the slide one event function. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link the vertical slider directly to the instrument panel. So whatever value the vertical slider has, the instrument panel will also have. To do that, I'm first going to have to get the value of the vertical slider. I'm going to create a variable called B and use the widget value function again and type in the name of the widget, which is V slider one. Now that we have the widget value, we're going to have to display it on the instrument widget. To do that, I'm going to be using the set widget value function again. The name of the widget is instrument free. 
and the name of our variable which we want to display is b. Now as you can see when we evaluate the code, the widget works, the increase button increases it by 10, the reset button resets it to 0 and the slider sets the value of the instrument widget the same as itself. This is a simple but really useful example that can easily be done in MD Python Designer. Matt Deck 3 also offers a GUI designer but it has a limit of 5 widgets whereas MD Python Designer offers an unlimited GUI designer at an affordable price.